Don't get your feelings hurt. Read this. Where's the scroll? Where's the scroll? Let's watch another movie. Hey, are we uh, about out of uh, movies on the scroll? Are Dude, out? I am so excited because I've been doing a little bit of math. Yeah. If we keep at the pace we're going, I believe we're going to be home for Christmas. Really? Yeah. I think we will have finished. Oh my gosh. Will you chill out, dude? Oh hey, my gosh. That is abrasively okay? loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, if we, <laughs> uh, as you know, once we finish all the movies on the scroll, Payman has agreed to release us from this purgatory and we can go home to our families and uh, we're almost done. Does that mean short film roundup ends? I hope so. I I can't take much more of this. <laughs> okay. I'm sick of you guys. So yeah, it looks like we're pretty close. To pretty the end. close to the end. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this one is yes. uh, the plague by uh, Guillermo. I don't know how to say. His Should last we tell name. people who we are and what we do here? No. Too bad. I'm Kenny. This is Taylor. I'm and I'm D two. That's D two D. I'm Kenny. <laughs> He's Kenny. I'm D. He's Taylor. Guys, if we run out of films, I want to keep doing short film roundup. Do it on your own. <laughs> on your own I'm side. only here because I'm compelled by supernatural forces. Really? Not by choice. But what about all the times we did it before we were cursed? It was fun back then. <laughs> it's become a torture. Now it's now it's an o- obligatory. So fine. And there's so many horrible movies, uh, like the one we're covering today. Oh my gosh! Welcome to short film roundup. We uh, are. Uh, yeah, we review short films. Yes. Submitted to us by you guys, the filmmaking public. That's right. Exactly. That's and then they each right. appear on our list, which we have now. And we have one to, to yeah. review today, but a couple announcements first. Yeah, they're making announcements. One is uh, we have an award show coming up at the end of the year. January award 1st. Show. Mark award your show. calendars. January 1st, we are going to. Uh, recognize and, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what that means recognize and give awards to the best of the best of our uh, the films that were submitted to us over the last year yes sir if you've had a short film on short film roundup you are in consideration for awards yep yes sir yep and ma'am yep ma'am yes ma'am yes people yes uh, non-binaries and, and oh you too can have a film on short film roundup uh, yeah, there's a uh, link in the description that goes to a form. Fill out the form; it'll appear on this list. But we're getting pa- we're getting to the end of the list, so yeah. Actually, huh. maybe so, maybe you shouldn't yeah, do it. Maybe. So don't actually, yeah. Don't. Uh, do that. <laughs> okay. Should we move on Let's to the today's film then? You already, so, you already already announced it. Yeah, I'm sorry. So today I'll, I'll just go ahead and reannounce it. How Thank about you. Um, <laughs> Start over. Today's today's film is. Uh, uh, by Guillermo, I don't know how to say his last Del name. Del Toro? Not Del Toro. Oh. Uh, and it's called The Plague. And it was, I guess, in consideration, or it was a fi- official selection for Scream Fest. Ooh, horror, a, film horror festival. Um, um, so anyway. Can oh, I just oh, point oh, out sure. that we have now had films submitted to us from all over the United States, all over the United Kingdom, Canada... Australia, several from India, and I believe this is coming to us from Spain. Uh, yeah. Spania. Seems that way. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Lots it's of really filmmakers cool. Short all film the roundup world. is Spanian spanning films. the globe. <laughs> films. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go watch this movie. You can do the same. There's a link in the description. Uh, go watch the movie and then come back. Leave us a comment about what you thought about the film and then disagree with us. Hello? Hey, how's it going? We're back. Whew. Yeah. Here we are. Hello? We are here. Well. Um, <clears throat> wow. Ding. Wow. wow. Should we begin? Taylor. Because I, I can't wait to crap all over this movie. <laughs> <laughs> this movie sucked. Ew. Uh, actually, on the contrary, uh, I really liked this movie. What? I, th- I think this was... Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Heyman! Oh my god. Your studio sucks, bro. What a disaster. This is a disaster. Thank Are you. we good? No. Are we good? No. Nope. Still not. Nope. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over there? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Try 
try that. You good? <laughs> Slowly. Take it easy. Take it easy, dude. Get up. Don't, 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 don't. I'm not doing it. Don't do that. <laughs> God. Just stop it. Stop. <laughs> All right, that's good. It's going to fall. It's going to fall again. Why? Not because only if you touch it. No, it's, it's leaning. Don't towards touch it. it. Mine's it's leaning towards me. <laughs> Taylor, oh, what, what did you think about the plague? Yeah, I thought it was great. I really liked it a lot. I loved... The cinematography, I love the pacing, I love the writing, I loved literally everything about it. I like the editing. I loved this opening shot when mm -hmm. it's just of the pier and then the camera is just slowly pulling back. Like that is that's so ominous. That shot got me so excited. Yeah. Because you could see the uh proficiency. Yeah. And yeah. so as soon as I saw that shot, I went, oh, oh this yeah. might be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. might have a good one on our hands it's, here. Yeah. It's funny that all of us had the same point the same, right at the same shot. It was We're all just like, oh, like, oh, yeah. Oh, this, this <laughs> might. I'm yeah. excited. One of the best, one of the best shorts we've probably had on the show. I, I think it, it's definitely up there. Um, now, this was a lot of fun to watch. When a film is made this proficiently, it's it's actually genuinely hard to critique. Yeah. Uh, and we've had some really good films that ended up having really short reviews because we're like, I don't know what to say about this. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Good. It was good. <laughs> it was good. Um, but I, one of the things I'd love to hear about from back from the filmmaker is what kind of budget you had while making this film. Absolutely. And how did you receive financing and it all that? It feels if you can very talk about that. high budget. Well, I mean, so they shot on the Alexa, which in... Oh, and it looked like you had a post house doing... And you had a post house, right? Effects. And, and there's... I mean, it's it's anamorphic. Yeah. <laughs> and it's anamorphic. <laughs> so... Um, so there's definitely some money that went into this. Great actors. Great cast. Yeah. Uh, the lighting is impeccable. Yeah. On this, this scene especially. Yeah. That's that's not easy. If anything, maybe the the music and the title reveal here was all pretty over dramatic. <laughs> and some some of there were some times where the music was I felt a little heavy. Maybe I, just a little much, but it, the the content of the movie matched it well enough to where I'm not really complaining about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, same here. My biggest pet peeve of the whole, not even really pet peeve, my biggest uh, nitpick of the whole movie was um, when the doors get busted down and how they, they break in half yeah. in a very um, unrealistic manner. That, yeah. like, pulled me straight out of the movie for a second. <laughs> Let's look at that yeah. for a second. It was... Uh, right there, right yeah. There. <laughs> like, like, I've literally, of all the movies I've ever seen in my life... Even short films included, I have never seen doors break that way. So uh, it was—it weird. distracted me too. Yeah, when the yeah. door busted in, my initial feeling was, um, "Oh, these people coming in clearly have superhuman strength. <laughs> they're they're like superheroes. They're mutants, something like that." Because that's a that's a ridiculous door break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and think it's just the prop that. That was yeah. the problem there. Like right? it was weakened in the middle of the door. It, well, like yeah. It's, well, you it's see, it broke scene. on a straight line. Yeah, yeah, and that's so weird. Yeah. Um, but that's literally, literally my that's biggest, literally only like <laughs> nitpick. I want to. I want to. Can I go in here? Can I talk about this film? Is that okay? No. No. Um, we don't do that here. When I just want to show people how like proficient some of this stuff is. We we're on such. If you pay attention to the way the camera is moving, it's very, very, very slow and it's very steady. It's not shaking at all. And then as soon as we have the door break, check this out. It goes shake, 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 shake. It's all the the edits get faster, camera gets messier. Smart, you know. It's a yeah, yeah. it's a smart thing to do. It's funny because that's like such simple stuff, you yeah. know. But it's, very it's so effective it, and it matters a lot exactly you know? it i mean it, the the person who did it knows what they're doing yeah you know? it's simple stuff but it takes the conscious effort to do it mm -hmm. you know? uh if i could point out a thing i really liked here is uh the the woman here who you know it's her father is the uh the reanimated mm -hmm. <laughs> right um ultimately she's not like a super important character right uh she's part of the story but 
you took the time to make me care about this person. Yeah. Uh, and that made such a difference. Absolutely. Right? We could have just... We we could have just started right right in with uh, the guy wandering into the house and then the door breaks down and there's a chase. But because we have this slow buildup of her caring for her father and we get that he is in a nursing home and that this is the third or fourth time that he's gotten out and come to her house in the middle of the night and she's worried about him and she holds his hand and... Uh, all of a sudden, it, it matters to us when those people come and are taking him away. But yeah. when he gets shot in front of her, yeah. it's heavy. You know, mm, right. It's really heavy. Yeah, we have, we're building up context here. Yeah. You know? So thank you for developing a character, <laughs> which uh, I think many filmmakers would have thought of as unimportant. Unimportant is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. That is really, really interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love how this is a sort of zombie movie again without, yeah, yeah without caring about whether or not it's a zombie movie exactly yeah. but they do this interesting thing i think i'm reading into this correctly where in this world um for whatever reason this person has whatever plague of some sort that when they die they just don't die but then their but their mind is the same. It was like they the, he still had all of his humanity. Yeah, all the yeah. humanity is still there, and yeah. that's what's so interesting about it. Because like, I start reading into this, and that this group of people who come in and take him are like, I imagined them as like these religion fanatics who were like, like if you're dead, if you die once, it doesn't matter. That was your time to go, and we have to go and enforce your death. That's what it felt like to That's me. That's interesting. Where they, interesting. they went in and took him. Like, nope, you died. Time right. to enforce your death. To take <laughs> right, you off to right. the rest. Right. Because of them. what if you keep your humanity? Then how is it any different than just being immortal? Exactly. Which yeah. it, is is that a bad thing to be immortal? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, like, but what's great is like the movie doesn't necessarily concern itself so much with that. But it's all there, you know. Yeah, I could be reading into it wrong. Well, of course, I, mean, I mean, maybe a little bit, uh, but but as far as th the thing that's cool that you talked about is that it's a zombie film that doesn't, you know, doesn't say overtly, "Hey, zombies, guys, remember zombies?" Yeah, you know, and w why it does that, or I think how it does that, is because we're not focused on the mechanic. Like that's not the focus of the whole thing. The focus is on her, and the focus right. is on the the deal that she has to deal with learning that he's a reanimated person right you and know? having him taken away from him yeah from her yeah and that's the story yeah and then the fact that he's a quote zombie or whatever is secondary right you know um and that's something that i think a lot of films should understand that humans connect with other humans <laughs> the audience <laughs> wants to connect with another person on screen and then once they do then they can understand everything else through that perspective which is great so, uh, so that's it, and we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> well done. Uh, good job. <laughs> you win. So whenever a, a, um, a short film is pulled off to this level, right, this, this level of expertise nailed, yeah. there's always a story behind it. Yeah. So I, I want to know the story behind the making of this film. you got a huge team. You have a lot of people involved. Uh, do you have volunteers who came forward and worked on this uh you know just as a passion project was this your passion project is this a uh uh related to film school or what what brought this film to life why did you want to make it i'm not ready for questions yet but, okay but good questions all right <laughs> i loved your question is that why your finger went up <laughs> uh, okay cut down um, false alarm no um when we were talking about uh, the previous film that we did, uh, D2D. Two, day, two days ago, yeah, uh, oh. D2D, yeah, um, get it? Because we're had, shooting yeah, in the I had future. To think about it. Yeah, yeah you gotta gotta oh, yeah, edit that was this out. Two days yeah. ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, yeah, so in D2D, we were talking about how their drone shots were just unnecessary. You're just like, okay, it's a drone shot for just the sake of a drone shot. This one, I believe has a drone shot. I don't know if it's drone or helicopter, which is awesome. <laughs> That's great that I should that I have that confusion, right? Yeah. Um, the, the, what makes it so good is the single shot they have in here 
provides us information, right? I mean, yeah. So, so this is this like, this shot. Yeah. It's used with purpose. It's used with purpose, right? We the, see them and we see where they're going. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Like it. Well, was, and it just establishes that it's far away and isolated. Yeah. From yeah. everything yeah. else, it gives us information, and it's not you know you didn't cut to lots of different you didn't angles. Spin around, you didn't yeah. spin around. Sky. Yeah. You didn't it's cut like, to lots of different angles. Of, yeah, exactly. You know, and and I think that's what happens is people get excited when they have drones. And they're just like, oh, man, I could do all different kinds of shots. Yeah. yeah. They end up using them all in the film. I, I want mm-hmm. to reinforce to other filmmakers that are watching this that the the reason this film is very good has nothing to do with its budget. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, yeah. Some of the decisions that were made here are what make it really, really good. Yeah. One of those being that it is extremely lean. Yeah, it do, very it lean. doesn't have very many. There's it no doesn't have anything yeah. that's unmotivated. Everything's moving the story forward. Yeah, any ideas or shots that weren't story, moving the story forward, I guarantee you, he cut them out. Yeah. I bet they were there, but yeah. but they were cut. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice lean film. Um, the only place where it felt like there was a little fat to trim was the the long walk with the casket. So I want to talk about it almost that. went a little too long. Oh, the casket. Yeah, you're talking about at the bottom, uh, at the, the end. end. Yeah. That was a little long. I it did felt, like it. I though. mean, again, that's a small complaint. Small. But um, um, I want to talk about the long shots in the beginning, uh, when we were following her the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe this was because it was submitted for a Scream Fest, though a horror film festival. Uh, and, and this is truly the only moment that has traditional horror elements. Traditional. Is when she feels here. like there's someone in her house. Right. So when other people are watching the film, I think right here they're expecting, oh, this is a horror film, so I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be scared, so I better get tensed up here. You know, she's, you have the very classic traditional things where it's a long hallway shot and she's creeping and she, brand, she grabs something to hit somebody with. And you know it's just going to be a, a red herring. Mm-hmm. But... What's great is that they play into it, you know, and they uh, they use it to storytell, yeah, which is awesome. And it ends up not being the crux of the film anyway. Right. Uh, I want to talk about some of the details in here. Why why this movie stands above others without taking budget into consideration? Mm-hmm. Shot choice. Yeah, shot choice you know, is great. Is you there don't, anything specific? You don't... The beginning, the opening shot. The very opening shot is... Mm. is just a shot of a dock and the camera is moving backwards and there's nothing in the frame except for the dock. It's just moving backwards. And then the car comes in from out of frame. That doesn't need any budget. You don't need anything to do that other than a car or a camera and, and maybe a, a dolly, maybe a dolly but you could even do it with a steady hand too, yeah. you know? Yeah, you and that sets a tone of like very uneasy tone absolutely like it's so uneasy yeah to see a camera one one the fact that it's the opening shot and it's moving backwards and there's nothing in frame the nothing in frame that uh, just yeah. really honestly is uneasy I, to me. I actually inferred that what was going down on this dock was like act- even darker yeah. than what it ended up being right? <laughs> yeah. like right. it felt like some that you know some contraband was about to be yeah. exchanged yeah. and yeah. people were about to be shot yeah. you know yeah. a body was going to be thrown in the water or something yeah um uh they use a lot of camera movement and they do it uh, what what from what i think is that if you can't move a camera well don't move it yeah right and yeah. and so we have a lot of short films that we've seen where people are are trying to do camera moves without the either the expertise the equipment or the right intention yeah and so it it's on, it's distracting uh, I saw from the credits, you guys had steady cam operators. You, you, you did this like the right way. Um, if you if you don't if you're not moving a camera properly, it just gets annoying. It reminds me of another film that we watched. Oh, it was a horror film also, and it was about a girl who was running away from her ghost person that she murdered. Oh, ghost sister yeah. or something. Yeah, in our Halloween episode. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, the. Uh, the camera there i remember this one part where she was in the kitchen and we have a dolly shot that goes from left to right to reveal that she's in the kitchen <laughs> yeah it didn't it had no purpose right. yeah. yeah yeah i mean look at this this is the same shot i mean granted it's from uh left this is i up, love this down one. to up 
but this yeah, one is great. Yeah, it's it's effectively doing the same kind of movement that the that that other one was, but this one has a purpose. What we see is someone going out of the car, and then we land on a character's face, and it's like the purpose was to show that that guy is cleaning off his face, you know, from blood. Yeah, it it, it um. It one it introduces a character that's important later on, exactly. and it introduces a little bit of mystery and intrigue. Exactly. But it's all done with such a purpose, you know. Yeah, finesse. I think yeah. a lot of early films I, I, from early filmmakers, like like it's really good to like seriously every single shot in your film. Think like to yourself like, why this shot? Exactly. Yeah. You know? Exactly that. And if you don't have an answer for that, then you need to find an answer for that. Exactly you know? that. Yeah. I, I think it's valuable to do what I call a a hatchet cut and a scalpel cut with okay. your film. So like w- like when you have your rough cut, for, your hatchet cut is when you go through and you're just brutal, where you just <laughs> ask yourself, does this have to be in this movie? Yeah. Get everything out that doesn't have to be in this movie. Yeah. Scalpel yeah. cut is when you go through and you're removing frames. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It might be kind of interesting to experiment, like, going with that philosophy, like, like do a cut where you cut way too much out. <laughs> like, you go overboard with it. <laughs> just as an, ex- as just an as exercise. An ex- yeah, just an as an exercise, you know. I, well, I have yet to see the short film where less is not more. Well, Like, like yeah. virtually every short film we've seen has either been just right or has too much. Yeah, well, there, there was one, I think, that we were like, if we wished it was longer, it was uh, Kenny was his name. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't oh, yeah. that. It was that he had an idea that would have worked better as a, as a longer, a longer film. Yeah. It was literally chopped down. He, like, said that himself. He didn't even have Final Cut. That, right. Yeah, that was it. Cut, yeah. His cut was longer. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Which, uh, that's really weird. That's <laughs> yeah. so strange. But this, I mean, that's, that's my biggest takeaway from this film yeah. is just nice and lean. Yeah, everything is motivated, and there's there's just nothing unnecessary here. Yeah, the all the all the budget stuff, the things that make this very high budget, are all polish. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the not choice like of the fundamental camera. stuff. It's having a full crew. Exactly. It's yeah. having a post house. Yeah, like that's that is all just to make it over the top. Like if if this was all bad lighting, and if this was all, you know, kind of shot on handy cam stuff, but still exactly the same kind of shot choices and stuff. It still work because it's a script that understands, you know, how to tell visual stories. Yeah, that's a, another thing. It's a visual story here. Yeah. Like, there's not very much. There's a little bit of dialogue to just flush out a little bit of character in the beginning. Yeah. But most of this film is told straight up through visuals. Yeah. Which is always refreshing to see in almost any movie, really. Yeah. Even features. Dude, even the rack focus here is great. So we go, <laughs> this was so good. So we have him saying, I didn't kill your father, when obviously he just did. Right? Yeah. From, from our perspective. And he says, he died of a heart attack a few hours ago. We were like, okay, so are you trying to plant memories? But then he says this line, some people, they don't want to go. And then we have this cut. Look at that wreck from here to there. Yeah, no, and it's, it's so good. We understand what's happening now. Yeah. We yeah, but you connect. know what that is? That's, that's direction yeah you know that's a director working with their dp exactly who would not uh settle for (laughs) an an imperfect rack yeah and like that's just so vital um all these mistakes that we see in in so many of the short films we've covered i've just like well why didn't you just try that one more time just do it again why didn't you just (laughs) do that again like it was a great idea yeah you, you pulled it off halfway and then said good enough. Right. Right. See, now so this, this is a director who's not settling for good enough. This is one of the reasons why when we talk about 48 hour and 24 hour film festivals. Yes. That we're like, we can't judge it. We hate them. Because you have to do a take over and By over the way, to get it perfect. This was a 48 hour film festival. Shut up. I'm just kidding. Ooh. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Ooh. He made this in two hours. <laughs> <I'd> be, <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably just quit. <laughs> I'm just I'm done filmmaking. All right, yeah. See you he, later. He did the best one. I'm going to school. <laughs> going to school. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be an accountant. <laughs> uh, there's another thing. I mean, that uh, there's, there's so many little details, but like when, you know, she's not very important in this whole story, but when this door breaks down and she gets 
slammed down to the ground. She was violent. dead. Yeah. Right there. She looked like she died. Yeah. We come back to her later, and she's got blood all over her face. I mean, there's other films that wouldn't have done that. Yes. No, yeah. I, I that was one of my earliest thoughts was like, thank you for making consequences for that door ramming her over. Yeah. I've yeah. seen so many movies where that person would have just got up and dust themselves <laughs> off. <laughs> right. Like, you know? But I'm glad. So I'm glad she had some wear on her face. I mean, yeah. she looked like she was crushed. Yeah, um, her face looks pretty messed up there too. Yeah, it if, does. if there's anything like her, her clothes are exactly the same. Her and hair is fine. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, let's let's get really picky here. The, <laughs> uh, that's like a latex based blood. Yeah, that was yes, what was weird. It was really does, shiny, yeah. which does bother me. Well, yeah. and it it stands perfectly still. Right. You know, when you do latex blood. It gets weird when you start moving around because yep. gravity should be pulling those drops of blood <laughs> down, down <laughs> right. you know. And it's just sticking to the Yeah, but it's a lot easier for continuity if you can just have it stick in place. Yeah, love that too. Yeah. The blood droplets on his face. His performance is really cool. Yeah, I liked all of them, quite honestly. His performance was really yeah. cool. The old the, the dad, the old yeah. man. Wait, when he when this? he woke up the second time, oh, that's the other problem got, like, I had is that because he got I kind of feel like they went. I kind of feel like they tried to be ambiguous with time period. A little bit. But, I mean, uh, the station wagon is like a period car. I mean, it's like a seventies yeah. looking car. Well, they had the rotary phone here. Rotary phone. We have a dude with like that leather jacket and a mustache. Yeah, He's right out hair. of the seventies. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. But I, yeah, but I like the station wagon and the. Um, uh, the style of guns that they had. Yeah. Uh, all of them were very, you know, just regular shotguns. I think that's cool. The only, like, the dude with the bowl cut and the giant mustache took me out of it because it was so stereotypical. It was so, yeah. Like, how me 70s too. is that? Yeah. His mustache is insane. It's huge. <laughs> it's kind of awesome, but it... It's great, yeah. But, like, it doesn't but fit in this movie, the, I feel like. That's, yeah. yeah. I, it's just a little overdone, I think. So... Because he's also in the front... <laughs> front of everything yeah so, you know had he been this right here this yeah. guy it would have been better i think yeah so two, two th- uh, things that uh, you know th- the questions you ask walking back to the parking lot after the movie's over yeah uh <laughs> are one uh if if this plague makes it so you don't die do they also give you like martial arts skills because like the dad like disabled all of them so I was like, a little he, confused. He, he in comes that. out of the. First of all, he knows to fight these people. Well, he's been running away from them. Right? I guess so. And second, he succeeds overwhelmingly. Yeah. In in beating all these people off. So I mean, maybe maybe the real him knows martial arts or something. Yeah, I was thinking at this part when this happens, I was like, oh, it's like a like a born identity kind of situation where this guy's like. He has something crazy, but then right here, I was like, oh, that's not very good skill. That's just him struggling. But he, he does get him, you know, he, get, he gets the better part of him. Uh, of three people. Yeah. Like, he... he like, he has got some skills. <laughs> he flipped that dude. Yeah. So, I mean, does it, is that accounted to the virus, or is right. that how this old, decrepit man who just had a heart attack uh, can fight? I don't know. Again, this is just the, th- thing, the things you think about after. I love that that was in slow motion, by yeah, the way. Yeah, also it, a great choice. very good choice of slow motion. So often done poorly. Um, and that he runs past her. Like he doesn't give her a second thought. Like, he runs straight past her. <laughs> uh, the other nitpick that would come to my mind while walking back to the car <laughs> is car? apparently this plague has nothing to do with touch or blood. I guess we have like blood splatter on faces I, and it's I just like, like nah. well, it's funny because I didn't even think about the idea of zombies until Taylor said, this is a zombie film. Essentially. I knew it was a zombie film. As soon as we saw the thumbnail, <laughs> it was called the plague and it had a picture of a guy with blood splatter in his face. I'm like, oh, Did, yeah, I didn't, zombie I didn't draw any of those conclusions. I, uh, when, when he said some people, they don't want to go uh, to me, I was like, okay, so that means that, that somehow they just can't die but that's all and then uh, i didn't even connect to the title of the plague that actually makes it a little bit worse for me (laughs) that didn't bother me because they were so vague about the illness or whatever it is that like 
if it doesn't affect them, then it doesn't affect them. Yeah, know? I mean, yeah. it doesn't have to. Yeah, I mean, it, it maybe it has nothing to do with blood. He is not panicking about having blood in his face right yeah. now. Yeah, and I think I think that's because we've we've come to know zombie films now. You know, is what they. But are. this is good. It's not. I mean, maybe it's not a zombie film. It's just a reanimated. Just reanimated people film. Yeah. film yeah. Because when he comes to, he wants to hold his daughter's hand. Yeah. Which I love. I yeah. love that. I also love this idea that every one of those boxes has a living human in it. Yeah. And freaking out. That's so disturbing. That's also, <laughs> really, really good use of visual storytelling. Yeah. The the only thing that could have made that better is if all those boxes were slightly like shaking. <laughs> and you could hear people like tapping. I Hurry really, out! I really like that. I really like that. Uh, and when they pulled back, they put it down and they pull back and you yeah. see two more. When I saw the two more, I'm like, oh, show more, please show more. <laughs> and I'm like, tell me you had the budget to make a big pile. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm guessing that's all visual effects, right? I think so. It yeah. looks, it looks like a VFX shot. But yeah, but really, really well done. Um, that's quite good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Questions? Kenny already got his in like twenty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just that I wanted. I want to know the. T tell me the story here. What? Why did you make this movie, and how'd you pull it off so freaking well? With all the polish. Kudos to you, sir. I want to know. We usually talk about future films of others. I want to know what your previous films were like. Ooh. You know? Yeah, send us one of your like embarrassing movies. <laughs> Not embarrassing. I want to know. No, totally like your worst, most embarrassing <laughs> no, movie. I want to the see, ones you're trying to bury on I Facebook. I want to see less polished versions of good storytelling. You know, because I feel like I feel like you have that, and so I, I want to see something like that. So please give us more. I'd, yeah, I'd love that. And how long have you been making movies for? Uh, this was a good movie. This was a good movie. This was That's a my good other question. This was a. G <laughs> we'll have different <laughs> punctuation marks. Speaking, this was a good movie. This was a good movie. This was, this was a, a good, good movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking on behalf of the three people in the room who are cursed to review short films, um, who this was a nice relief. This was a oh, delight yeah. to watch. This, yeah. yeah, this was. Yeah, I mean we. Uh, uh, all kidding aside, it's pretty fun to review films of all types. Absolutely. And we've done everything from films of this level down to the 12-year-old who is making their first movie in their kitchen. Yeah. Right? We've literally had both of those and everything in between. Yeah. And uh, sometimes it gets a little old telling people <laughs> that they need to use a microphone and <laughs> <laughs> and other very basic things. This yeah. is just a breath of fresh air, and really glad you submitted it to the show. There's there's one thing we didn't touch on, and that's the sound and music. All of it impeccable in here. Um, Talked a little bit about music, but yeah, just it's it's just it's just nice to to have yeah. something that's like that. And it proves that we we don't hate every, we don't hate everything. <laughs> we, we don't watch, hate we don't everything. Hate it all. Yeah. yeah. Yep. There right. we go. Very nice, cool. Guillermo. Thanks, Guillermo. Thank you very much for sending us that film. It was really awesome. Um, if you, not Guillermo, well, you can still send us another movie, but anyone else <laughs> who's watching, uh, if you want to submit a film of yours, you can do so by going to the link down in the description. There's a form there. You fill it out, and it'll send us your film, and we'll let you know when it'll be up. Yeah, and if you, we'll if you do that, we will be obligated to review it. Even though it might uh, due to the curse, it might make it so that we're uh, late to Christmas. Yeah, it'll put it on here. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep. We uh, we're having an award show as we as we said earlier uh, yeah. uh, on New Year's Day. Yeah. Everyone who has been in our first year, including films, this one, including yep. this one, will be up for award nominations. Yep. So um, tune in for that, and the way you can do that is by clicking subscribe and like. What? No way. Yeah, and there's a little bell too, and click that. What? No Just way. Just click all the things on the screen. Click all the things. Subscribe, yeah. like, bell, Yeah, all the and recommend comment. recommended videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it. Um, uh, I'm going to go check out that uh, pool to, again. Again? Well, I want to see. No, that's dude. That's not a good idea. But you got to go in it. He doesn't like I, you. Yeah, he gave him yeah, a hat. He, he gave me a hat. Didn't give you a hat. No, he didn't. And he put you in timeout for five Episodes. weeks. Episodes. Episodes. Two episodes. Two episodes. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kenny can, can, can't deal no, with wait, the fact no, that No, wait. No, don't. No. <laughs> wait, you're just he's, walking. He's in my shot now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> go, go, we done. Bye, guys. See ya.